Started with a profile. Cool snaps. Nice pics. It proceeded with a series of messages back and forth just to kind of make sure the person wasn't too creepy. And now they've set up a date. Tater isn't taught and Kevin O. Uh, decided to go with this dating service that sets them up on these kind of adventure dates. And so they're going to, they're coming from separate sides of the country, uh, separate airports that both happen to be on either side of this wilderness. And they have to trek across and get to this cabin here where they're going to have a, a, a romantic day, a picnic. Of course, it's going to take them several days to get there, but it, it wasn't very well planned. So that's what they're up to. Oblio, he works for Life Magazine, and he's going to be taking some nature shots. So the shots have to have a subject, and they have to be different from each other. Generally, the subject is going to be deer here. Um, in this case, like these two deer would be different for two reasons. One, because they look different. One is kind of hunched over, and the other one is erect. Um, and also this one has water, so those would be two different shots. And if he's able to do, say, five of them, yeah, I got five markers over there, then, and get back out, he's okay. Now he's going to be using the search rules. Our two uh, daters here are going to be using the lost rules. And of course, Demi is still using the lost rules. He's about out though. All right, we've gone around a few times and I thought we should probably check in so you it's not too jolting to you when we jump ahead and someone's dead or someone's made their goal and you didn't get to experience how they got there. So, um, Oblio's taken one photo here of a deer and he's heading off this way. He's doing well. The search rules are a lot um, nicer on people than the lost rules, which have caused some problems for our other three competitors here. So I guess they're not really competitors. Well, I guess they're competing against nature. Okay. Um, so that's where he's at. Demi was almost out, but then he got something that made him sit there for two turns. And so this next roll is really going to matter, which is why one reason I decided to film now. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. And then Tateris and Tot, she headed out here, was just kind of dying. And so she's heading back to the space uh, to kind of rest and recuperate. She doesn't mind being late. Uh, Kevin O., he was making good time, but then he got lost when he was right here and ended up in the desert. So we'll see what happens to him. Let's roll for Demi's movement. Three. And that's, he's going to go one in a random direction and then he can, okay. Three, one, two, three. And Demi made it out. So we'll see who we got next. Nice job, Demi. I was a little worried about him for a second there. That it is, it's none. All right, none, and we'll see what kind of scenario she's up to. Might be interesting. Nun's secret fantasy is to be a space warrior, and so we're gonna give her that opportunity. Um, I kind of had flowing in the back of my mind how f this would be, uh, it would be fun to do a sort of horror scenario and maybe have someone actually have set up this date in order to lure people out here so that they could get them. And that's what she's going to do. So her goal is to find, figure out the capabilities of Earthlings in combat. She's going to roll on the lost table as well, I think. Whoops. Maybe the survival table since she's a warrior, but it's unfamiliar terrain. So she came down here. She, she just has to engage someone in combat, which um, I think will, will make it be a roll against their health. And even if she doesn't kill the person, she'll have gotten the data that she needs to send back to her planet uh, so that they know a bit about human physiology. Though, bonus points if she kills someone. Oblio's turn. Time to check back in. Tater as in Ty has made it to the space. She's been sitting there while her date is finally made out of the desert. He's kind of getting not kind of getting beat up. Now, unlike in the last scenario, they're not going to immediately go back to full health if they get to these buildings. By last scenario, I mean the lost scenario. They have to actually stay there and wait out the turn because time matters right now since none is on the field. Um, I'm playing that they don't know that she's a monster or any of that. Um, so Oblio almost actually walked over to her to take her picture because she has, he has to take a, 
a human pit photograph out in the wilderness uh, as one of his requirements for his assignment. And so now none is going to move. Oh, the, um, the earth terrain didn't agree with her. And so she got a permanent life level lost uh, just due to the, maybe the gravity's different. And it's hard on her or the sun, who knows. So she got the six that lets her, she gets to move in any direction and make one direction change. Um, I think she'll go ahead and go to this base here. That'd be good for her. Kevin O is pretty much doomed. He was right here, right outside this base, but he rolled a random and he had to go up one, which caused him to lose a bunch of life because there's no water or food there. And then he got an event which made it so he had to stay there for three turns. That raises an interesting question in terms of our scenario. I th like, what happens to Tater as in Tot then? I think she needs closure. Um, so she has to go and find his body. And then she'll and then get somewhere safe so she could get to a base and that would be okay. And then the scenario's over for her. Uh, Oblio went to take a picture of uh, this person here who ends up being none. Um, I'm going to say that meets his requirements because he got a picture of an alien life form and so that kind of blows out of the water the deer and all the nature photos he's been taking. Um, but he has to survive. And so they're going to fight right now. It's none's turn and on her turn she can attack him. So she has to roll under a five and then she's going to do five life levels worth of damage. Three. So she does five life levels to him. One, two, three, four, five. That puts him at G. And then he can fight back as well. Five. So that basically did nothing to her. He managed to limp away and get into the space here where he locked it up. So no one can go in there. He's not opening up for anyone. Um, he still has to get out with his photos, though, in order to succeed. Um, I'm going to say that the space warriors don't want there to be proof that they exist. So none needs to make sure that he doesn't make it out. Uh, hmm. How would that work? So he can just sit there. And she can sit somewhere else. She doesn't know where he's going. Hmm. i got to think this over a little bit. Okay, I think to be fair, the space warrior, Nun, needs to be able to attack the building. And so she does that just like she attacks anything else, uh, but not until her turn. It's Oblio's turn right now. He's kind of trying to fix himself. Um, she goes to here. Kevin O. rolls to see if a miracle occurs. It does not, and he's out of the game. All right, let's see who's in his place here. That's gonna be Dancing Bear. Dancing Bear. Bad breath. I'm trying to think what she would be doing out in the woods. Follow your dreams, is that what it says? Maybe something to do with that. None busted in prompting Oblio to skedaddle. He's armed though now, so he can, he has the same combat capability she has. Um, oh, I forgot to lower her food stuff. Um, and so that's what's going on right there. Uh, let's see, Tater isn't taught. Fixed herself up some more. And Dancing Bear is gonna start right here. Now her goal is to get to one of these white peaked mountains and spend a day there uh, playing the cello. And so it can be anyone that has a white top. It can't just be there. She wants to have this great view and play the cello. Nun has caught up to Oblio and now they're gonna fight. Here we go. Nun's roll. She does not hurt him. Oblio fights back with his gun and he doesn't hurt her either. They both rolled over their life levels, their respective life levels. Let's see if she gets an event. She does not, but she's going to lose a life level due to thirst. She's still stronger than Oblio. 
Hogleo hobbled back to the base and locked himself in again. He's desperately calling for help, but I don't know if anyone's going to come. He has to use a telegraph, you see, and there's not a lot of telegraph operators out there that are listening. Or maybe it's a ham radio. I think it's a ham radio. He's using a ham radio uh, that has got a kerosene generator attached to it. Now Hun was able to go back in and barge, barged in and took him down to K level. Oblio's gun again was to no effect. He's not as good at shooting a gun as he is a camera. Now it's his turn. Um, he's at one. He might just take the shot. If he leaves, he's going to go down to zero. And so he's going to just shoot at her and hope he's successful. And he is. So that takes her down one life level. So her maximum is C now, and she goes down to F. I don't know why the, I think the gun should have a flat effect actually. Well, maybe he just didn't hit her very well. She goes down to F, which isn't going to do a lot, but he doesn't have a lot of other choices right now. They exchange fire again. She's using a space axe though, but he shot her again, and she hurt him. So he's down to M. He's not going to be going anywhere. He could sit there, and yeah, I don't think even with all that said and done, but I think if she doesn't manage to kill him, we'll say he succeeded. He doesn't have to get off the end, because it's a, it's a big enough of a catastrophe. That's not the worst thing in the world to ha have someone come help you. Maybe that can be someone else's job. We'll see. Dancing Bear has made it to the mountain. She's kind of beat up. Um, Oh, and this is, she's going to actually get worse. But she's there playing the cello, and it's a beautiful moment for her. So we'll let her enjoy that while Nun attacks Oblio once again. She kills him. Oblio, I'm sorry. We got a great photo, though. So now Nun's got to be able to get back um, to her rocket ship, which is right here, and blast off to success. And our next person is going to be, oh, is that Tice? Yeah, Tice. Tice, she was a centaur, I think. None got lost leaving the base, went the exact wrong way, ended up in the mountains, is stuck there, lost some life. So on her next turn, she's really got to get back to this base. I've ruled that the space alien Warriors can't stay there to reheal, so she's got to just make it back. And I don't know if she can do that. Uh, she possibly be really hard for her to do that. That's rough. Um, Tice is very inquisitive, and she also operates a ham radio, so she heard um, uh, Oblio's call for distress, and so she bolted off. She's going to be using the lost rules because she's not prepared. But she has to get to here and just find out what happened. Uh, basically find his half-consumed corpse. Dancing Bear and Nun have both died. Um, I'm placing markers here for uh, Tice if she gets to one of those and then makes it out. Her curiosity will be of sated, will have been sated and she'll be okay. Put a marker here for Dancing Bear. She died on the mountain uh, with her flute. I said cello, but it's flute. I don't know why I, I said cello. I just, she looks like a celloist, a cellist. Um, if someone finds, passes through this marker before this game is over, then she'll be remembered and it'll have been worth it. I mean, it was worth it for sure. It was a really beautiful moment, but um, she'll be able to move on in the tournament. Not that anyone's going to go here necessarily, but it's possible. People move in random directions. So let's draw our next two people here. And we have red, little red, yeah, and nine ball. So we'll put nine ball here and little red here. There. All right, nine ball. And Little Red kind of have reflective goals. Nineball, he's uh, in survivor mode. He's been planning this trip. And he's got to get across the board. 
and he wants to talk to three people. I don't think he has to get all the way out. He has to you know, maybe talk to three people and go back the way he came. That's that'll that'll work. And if he happens to get across the desert, that counts as one person talked to. Um, Little Red, his goal is to spend a month, stay home for a month. I'm going to interpret that to mean he wants to be alone and he wants to be stationary. So all he has to do is be in a house, one of these bases, for 28 days without anyone else coming there. And then he can win. So he could just stay there and if no one else ends up on this south, um, this south base number six, he'll be fine. The reason why it's 28 days is because it's February right now when I'm starting this, even though it's the final day of February. I don't know. Tice just discovered the body of Oblio, and so she's satisfied her curiosity. Now she needs to make it back out. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and just let her fast forward and be healed now. Oh, but she's got an injury, so she's going to be healed at five instead of six. Nine Ball has been beset by a number of random rolls, which cast him out here. He didn't quite make it to a base yet, which has been really hard for him, and really hard because there's someone to talk to there. That would have been nice. But instead, he's going to lose four life levels, and that's going to bring him down to K. And since he's surrounded by woods and mountains, He's not going to be able to move unless he has one of those miracles. So let's see if he has one now. Something's happening. One, that's not a good one. And two, nothing happens. Probably nine balls last turn in the game. He's just rolled another event though, so it could be something. No, that's not going to help him. No matter what the event is, he's still going to lose seven life levels and nine ball is out of the game. Didn't get to talk to anybody. That's kind of sad. Very sad. All right, next on our plate is Giraffe. Hi, Giraffe. Okay, that's great. I'm excited to see Giraffe here. I guess we'll, let's take a look at where everyone else is. Little Red is over a week of solace, solitude. Uh, that's been nice. Um, Tai she went out and got messed up and then kind of ended up back at the base. She's going to be sleeping there for a while. Um, that's kind of what Tater and Todd is doing at this base here, just trying to get recovered so that she can continue the trek to try and find um, her her date. And that's going to do it for this edition of the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. It was it's been fun to kind of custom make these scenarios for the people. I haven't done anything too complicated which I kind of need to do for my own sanity. I keep it simple. Um, it, it's definitely not fair. Real people, multi-game solitaire mega tournament is not fair to, to everyone. Things happen, people are in different situations, different starting places, different goals, and just depending on what happens all around you, it's, it's um, kind of out of your control to some extent. Um, as outdoor survival often is, Interesting, the, the whole space space warrior thing. I kind of thought, I mean, it's a very simple story, right? And a very common story. There's some extraterrestrial or monster that's trying to do something, and it's terrible for other people. I didn't think it was going to run into the photography or photographer like that. And because a photographer happened to be there, it changed Nun's whole situation where she had to do more than just combat someone. She had to get rid of the proof. And that ended up being her downfall, even as, you know, Oblio needing to take a picture of someone ended up being his downfall. That someone just happened to be uh, Nun, the space warrior, when it could very well have been Kevin O or, yeah, Kevin O I think was probably the other other likely person. So it, this is an enjoyable way to play. I'm playing outdoor survival different than I originally intended. I was going to just have everyone do the lost scenario and I imagine the people slowly dying away and it'd be this kind of exercise in depression. But um, this is this is better for my own heart. See you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Megatermine Outdoor Survival.